Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. More Grand Prix awesome sauce going on here. Let's choose someone else. <gasps> Who's it gonna be? Oh, I don't know. Let's do Baby Daisy because she's a new character to this game. Uh, let's choose a bike. And manual, of course. I always do manual. Banana cup. Here we go. An interesting thing to note about this uh, Sherbert Land here is that there there's some controversy about this track. I forgot if it was like PETA or the ASPCA or something like that. They made a big deal. One of those kinds of organizations that it, there was something about that you're hitting penguins or something like that, and it's like encouraging people to uh, be abusive to animals or something like that. But the, this the if anyone played this track, you'll know that is not the case whatsoever. Because if you hit a penguin on this track, they are the ones that spin you out. You're not the ones that hurt the penguins. So they're going to blow you out of the water if you touch them. So avoid the penguins as best you can. Try staying towards the inside of this track, if at all possible. And this is going very well. No penguins getting in my way. And I'm also able to get the boost very nicely. So, now I can use my bike powers on this straightaway here, and I could have actually used it on the other straightaway, like, after the first turn. Oh, wait, was it the first? I don't think it's the... Yeah, I could have used it on this first turn, even after the second turn. Curses! <laughs> I'm missing opportunities here. Boink! And yeah, I'm just hopping over the edge there by pressing the B button. It saves a little bit of time. Great for time trials. Uh, probably like only a half second, but a half second matters! I'll see what I mean about the penguins. I was just a little bit off timing there and I managed to hit one. <sighs> I was setting myself up to go between the penguins as they crossed over oh, each other. Here comes Blue Shell. Blue Shell. Oh god. Uh, why did they have to be so mean to kids? See, this is what this game is really teaching child abuse. Oh, it's so awful. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, we're going and he I should say heading on to the last lap here, and I should abuse my bike powers as much as I possibly can, wherever I possibly can. And I'm not doing a good job of that because I'm kind of forgetting to use that whenever I can. Alright, successful PK camp is successful. And we're leading up to the Cave of Doom here, and I gotta say, this is a pretty pretty nice track in general, really. I mean, it's got the reflecting ice, it's got nice scenery, penguins roaming around, they add a little bit of randomness to the track, and again, why am I not getting bombarded by items like I was in the first race of the last part? I don't know, I'm getting an extremely good lucky streak as opposed to how badly I was having it in the uh, newer tracks of this game, not the retro tracks in the first four parts of this. But that's just how Mario Kart goes. Look at that. Clean sweep. No problem whatsoever. Woohoo! And she's gonna hit a banana peel. <laughs> Next race, here we go. The Shy Guy Beach for the Game Boy Advance. I should also mention something about these retro tracks, is that if you look at the ground, look how pixelated it is. That's a little detail that they added into the game to give it a really retro look. Even if, uh, you know, like some of the objects, like that umbrella I pointed to there, was, like, overly detailed compared to how they were on the GBA version. Like, you can tell that the objects here are 3D, but in the GBA version they were like 2D and they always appeared like that they were in the same position no matter which way you looked at the objects. And also, you can tell the water, look at how slow the frame rate of the water is. If you look at it closely, it'll be like, it twitches from one frame to another. That's another little retro detail they added to it. See how the water just like juts in and out, like a half second each. Another nice little detail, uh, the crabs are in 3D, which definitely wasn't there in the uh, GBA version, of course. Just didn't, didn't have that uh, 3D engine this one had. Uh, this is another thing that I meant when I was talking about in the credits that when they remade the old tracks, they definitely spiced them up and made them into a new, gave them a new feel. 
Um, something interesting about this track also is that it seems like it rewards you for being in the water. Like if you're in the time trials, it seems like even though the water slows you down, it doesn't slow you down enough to force you to stay on the land. So that might be something that you would like to consider if you're doing time trials on this track. Just, just stay on the inside as much as possible. But don't go into the darker water. That will screw you over. <laughs> that acts like it's a bottomless pit sort of area. And uh, I forgot to mention there's also a shortcut over there that uh, Mario up ahead there took. Or I should say baby Mario took, excuse me. And is that a bomb that just went toward... Yeah, that was a bomb, not a blue shell. Holy cow! That was lucky on my part there and someone's getting ahead of me. Oh no, 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 no. I do not want second, I was having such a good run. No, I, wait, wait, third? Where'd this third come into play? Well, second, I guess, is decent. Woo! Next race, Harry, go, 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 go! Mm. Arr, go! <laughs> no patience for this sort of shenanigans. I want to see the results at the end of the game, not during the game. And here's a DS track. I always found it kind of weird that they remade DS tracks for the, uh... Uh, game, if not GameCube, Wii version of Mario Kart here because of the fact that the DS game came right before the Wii version. You know, it was the last game in the series, so it doesn't seem like it's retro enough to be a retro track per se, but it is remade gloriously, I have to say, so uh, they did a pretty good job on it, and this bullet bill is going to dominate the place. Ah! Oh! The bullet bill effect ran off right on the corner, and that pushed me right into the wall. But that didn't matter, because I still gained a lot of time on these critters that are behind me now. So, uh, hopefully this race will go swimmingly, <laughs> as opposed to the last one where was, I was struggling to stand first. And, woo! Yeah, baby! Backflips for the win, and hopefully I'll be able to time this correctly, and I didn't. I'm going to get blown up by a blue shell as well. Of course, why wouldn't I? <laughs> as is the way of Mario Kart Wii. There is no other Mario Kart quite as luck-based as this one. I mean, even the DS version, where you still where you get blown up as much as you do in this one, the computer AI isn't quite as good as they are in this game. So, even... Oops, I just blew myself up because I hit the wall. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, even though that the... Um, get hit by as much items in the DS version as the Wii one. The AI in the DS version isn't as good, so you're able to outmaneuver, or not, I should say outmaneuver, outplay the computers by a great margin that the items don't really all seem to matter that much. But in this one, oh no, the computers are quite aggressive and they're quite good. Well, they're good enough, I should say, to, uh oh. <laughs> To keep... Oh, there we go! I did it successfully that time. Whenever you see that blue ring, that means you did it, did it successfully. You'll still lose your items, but man, eh, what can you do? Uh, anyway, as I was saying, again, I always interrupt myself. That's just what I do. It's how I roll. Is that the computers are just good enough to stay behind you to overtake you if you get hit by multiple items in a row. And they keep you behind them. Well, most of the time. Yay, indeed, baby Peach! Oh god, oh god, no! Why? Why? <laughs> Why must I be blasted back into a lower place than first? It's also kind of discouraging when that happens, like, repeatedly, because of the fact that, um, you know, even when you're playing skillfully, it still doesn't seem to matter all that much, because you get bumped into walls, you're blown up by shells, just Nothing you can do about it, but take it in the bomb, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, boy, I'm getting bumped around here. I might be able to get... Whoa, whoa, whoa second, second, second. Oh, oh, my God! How close was I to the second person player there? Oh, man! Less than a hundredth of a second. <laughs> that was quite the overtaking race there, and I have to say I got really lucky there. It's lucky of me to remember, too, that I had, you know, the bike power to boost me forward near the end there. I don't think I would have overtaken second place Duder there, Funky Kong, if I wouldn't have. Whew. Anyway, Waluigi, one of the 
a very loved tracks, I should say, from the GameCube game. I was going to say one of the best tracks, but not just one of the best, one of the uh, most loved tracks. It's because it's a dirt bike race, and needless to say, with the new bikes in this Mario Kart game, which don't really make much sense, you know, in the context of carts and all, but anyway, they do fit in this game anyway. <laughs> um, it makes... It, it really fits this game because... The original track was a dirt bike track, but you only used carts. But in this game, you've got the option to use bikes as well. So, oh, I missed time that. I just keep getting bombarded by things. But yeah, as I said, this is really fitting. You got your dirt bikes on a dirt bike track. Carts did look out of place, but at the same time, you know, even when you could only play this track with carts in the GameCube version, it still fits. I mean. Mario Kart tracks are crazy, let's just face it, so anything that seems out of place fits greatly into the Mario Kart universe, and I did that jump terribly! <laughs> and woo! Go baby Peach! Go baby Peach! Go baby Daisy, go! I believe in you! Ride that bike like no baby has ridden the bike before! Oh, that is terrible! No, I refuse to go into last place once again! Well, that wouldn't be last place, it would be third place, but still. Whatever, it, it seems like when you get hit by something in Mario Kart games, like from Double Dash onward, it seems like it's a team-up effort by the computers to hit you multiple times. Like, it'll be Pow Block, Green Shell, Red Shell, Blue Shell, all in a row, and it just messes you up. But it only seems to happen when you're in first place, I don't know why. Maybe it's because the first place person is the one that's targeted the most by the items in these later Mario Kart games. It just is how it works, I guess. Oh, that boost is not going to help me. Oh, but this one will. <laughs> that was a totally lucky move on my part because of the fact that I couldn't see what was behind me. And, not behind me, excuse me, during the turn on the side of me. And I just ended up turning right into the mushroom. But then on that landing, I was I was prepared to shoot for that red shell that was coming from behind me, and I ended up getting a fake item box, which didn't allow me to block the shot. If it was anything else besides the fake item box, I would have been able to block it. But oh no, it had to have been that fake item box. Oh. Well, what can you do, I suppose? What can you do? It looks like I'm going to get first place anyway. I hope. Maybe. Yay! You just never know on Mario Kart. There could be a blue shell that'll blindside you, and it'll just mess you up at the last second. And that was the race! Successful PK Gam is successful. <laughs> and results screen. I did pretty decently that time, I think. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Yeah, 57 points, 3 away from uh, perfect score. And I hope you enjoyed! I'll see you in the next part!